Anthropic one, aka He Who Hungers, and I'm back up in this bitch for another rant slash review. Finally, I got it. I want to talk about this album, Cormega's latest album called Mega Philosophy. First off, shout out my man Immobilarity One for um, letting me know that this was back up and available at undergroundhiphop.com y'all know I went through hell to get this shit but finally got my fucking hands on this shit and I'm gonna go into it Cormega is a dope rapper dope MC from Queens, New York Queensbridge um, he's been around for a while, early 90s well, as a matter of fact I already talked about this dude. I think I did his uh, review for his album, Born and Raised. I think I talked about him there. So if you want the whole history of the lesson, go on that shit. He's a dope rapper, one of my fucking favorites. And um, got his new shit out. Very poetic. And um, let's get into it. Artwork, very minimalistic just got him on the cover um, not too much on the inserts or on the inside just you know same basic um, light to dark blue writing on the insert you pull the CD out and behind it you got picture of Cormega right there and large professor who produced the whole shit who's another queen's producer slash mc one of the best in the game um so as far as production goes it's all done by large professor and it's all consistent and cohesive on this project so shout out to large pro did a real good job on the beats on this bitch let's talk about features you got az red man and styles p they're all on one track by the way you have chantel nandi nature raekwon maya azu senna or azu kina i don't know how to say that black rob and jarell perry you got 11 tracks a bunch of um features on here um, there are rap ones like AZ, Redman and Styles P, Nature, Raekwon and Black Rob. And then the other ones are just ones that are doing hooks like Chantel Nandi, uh, Maya, Azu, Senna, and Jarrell Perry hitting up on the hooks. Um, the features do their thing on here. They're not taken away from um, Cormega. I'll say that much. Um, I like every feature on here. They all do their thing. So I, I'm not going to bitch too much that um, there's a bunch of features on this bitch. All right, let's get right into this shit. Pros and cons. Pros. Lyrically, this is dope shit. I mean, anybody who's a fan of Cormega already knows lyrically he he's a problem. Um, very poetic, like I mentioned before. Very poetic type of MC um, great lyrical content on here um, let's talk about track 2 which kind of confused me uh, Mars featuring AZ Redman and Styles P um, Cormega was already on a track actually Cormega and Large Professor were already on a track called Mars where Cormega was rhyming and Large Professor was on the beat. This was on Large Professor's um, last solo LP. Um, I think it was called Professor at Large. 
and um, this was a track that created so much buzz because it was Mars was an acronym or is an acronym Mega Action Bronson Rock Marciano and Saigon and at the time you know there was a lot of buzz people were thinking it was a new super group which would have been fucking amazing but it wasn't no group it was just like a lyrical posse cut in fact there's a video for it I think um, go check it out but when I saw this and I um, saw the MCs that were on it um, so you have Mega you have AZ Redman and Styles P so it spells out Mars again I was just like shouldn't they just shouldn't he call it Mars part 2 but um that track was just displaying ill shit just um it was just a lyrical posse cut again I, I think he should have just called that Mars part 2 um industry which there is a video for I honestly I didn't even see the video um I will check it out after this the track itself is dope um like the title implies it's talking about the industry the music industry and um y'all should be no stranger to this if um you watch my channel this is this is the type of shit I'm against um Cormega basically puts it all out there on wax this has been talked about over the years in rap so um this is nothing new. This isn't a new concept. I like the way Cormega does it, though. He, he's talking about how uh, the industry is fucked up, how they, uh, how QD3 is uh, uh, is making money off of uh, those beef DVDs. This has been covered by Cannabis, by the way. That little particular tidbit about QD3. Um, but um, let's go on. I like how track three industry goes right into track four, which is called More, featuring Chantal Nandi. Um, this is basically talking about, it's, it's, it's taking the same concept and building off of three, but talking more about black society and how it is and um, how we are worth more. And again, if you watch my channel, you know that I've said this several times. And um, he's just putting into rhyme form, and I, I really appreciate that track. It's probably one of my favorite tracks on there. Um, track five, Reflection, dope track. Once again, um, Cormega does this on on a lot of his on um, all his albums, all his solo albums. He always has like a uh, a cappella track where it seems like a, it's like spoken word more or less. Um, that's what that track is. Um, Let's see what else I could talk about. Track 7, Honorable, featuring Raekwon. Dope track. That's the first track that I actually heard um, off this album. I heard it on um, SoundCloud, I think. Um, Black Rob came through on Home. And um, the last track I want to talk about is actually the last track. Track 11, Valuable Lessons, featuring Jarrell Perry. Um, dope track. Um, he's giving out valuable lessons to life. And um, I like in verse two how he's talking about um, how um, people in his own family changed due to um, him being successful and him making money. And uh, track three, what was that about? I'm trying to remember. Um, well, just listen to the track. I forget what that that was actually about. But it was, it was, this album's just fucking great. All right. Um, needless to say, this album is probably one of my favorite this year. Um, cons, I really don't really have anything to say about this album. Nothing really too bad. I mean, the album is short, but Cormega um, usually does that with albums. Uh, he packs everything into a small package, and he's not really the type of dude to go into a whole hour album i think his only one that even comes close to that was i think i think the testament or born and raised but most of his shit is usually in that 40 uh high 40s uh 40 minute category you know what i mean um but this shit right here my rating of it nine easy 9.5 definitely one of my favorite this year i i 
I just got to put it out there. And um, again, shout out to Immobilarity One for letting me know that this was back on undergroundhiphop.com. Um, shout out to Cormega. And shout out to Large Pro for putting this fucking piece of work together. And I'm so proud to own this shit. And that's it. Y'all know the deal. Leave your love. Leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe. Pick this shit up. And um, support dope shit. And that's it. Peace, bitches.